Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. In this video, we will learn how to use OBS Studio. This is a slightly old, older version of OBS, but I think it works. So, uh, in the previous video, I made another video on how to use Ice Cream Screen Recorder for your um, online video lectures. Uh, in this video, this uh, software is slightly, it looks slightly more technical but uh, it is a slightly more advanced version of screen recording and you can also put your own video, webcam video in addition to the slides also. So uh, this is why if you are, if you want more advanced version, OBS is more recommended uh, ice cream version. Ice cream free version has its limitations so you have to have a pro version for it but OBS is free. This software is free. I can put, I will put the link to this software in the video description as well. You can download it from there. So this is how OBS software looks like. This is the layout and um, this is where you will start your recording and uh, there are many other options. We don't need to go into that. The very basic thing is you have to look into this guy right here. So this thing right here, um, this is where you will start your scene. So you can see that I have PowerPoint for ice cream, the previous version, the previous video for ice cream I created using OBS. So this is the scene for that. And uh, then you have the second window where you will put your sources and then you'll simply start recording. So these are the three very basic things. So let's start by adding a scene here. Let's call it OBS tutorial and okay. Now this sources is empty. First of all, let's add audio input capture. So we need to record audio. So of course, let's add audio here. Okay. And it will ask you what kind of audio device you want. So I'm not using any microphone. I am in addition to my internal microphone in my laptop. So this is what it is, internal mic. This will be, this is going to be similar in uh, many computers, many of your computers. So just click this, internal mic and okay. So this is my first, so now I'm talking and see that this guy is moving. So this is our first audio input capture. And then we need to have a PowerPoint slide. For PowerPoint, you need to have window capture. So we need to capture a window of something. So select that. And in this window right here, you'll go and select PowerPoint. And this is where it's very important to notice that even though I have this Microsoft PowerPoint ready, it is not showing anything here. And in a minute, I'll explain why. Just click OK here. Okay. So you have this and see here this in the PowerPoint window, there is this reading pen here, reading view right here. Click this guy right here. And it will show the slides in this manner. And you can go to the OBS software here. Now it can show your slides here. It, it is showing your slides here. So, um, you have to show your, the PowerPoint slides in the reading menu. That is the main main point behind this. So I have my slides, I have my audio, and now I need my own webcam here. So for that, again, I'll click another source plus, and then I'll click this video capture device. Okay, and now it will ask, hello. So now it will ask um, which device you want to use. So this is Lenovo Easy Camera. This is the built-in webcam of my laptop. So I'll click this and click OK. So this is too big. I'll make it smaller here. You can put it here, put it anywhere. I'll put here. Usually uh, lectures are put like this. So slides will be running in the background and my webcam will be shown here and everything is ready actually. So let's go back to my slides and I'll go to the first slide. Okay, this is my first slide. I'll go back to OBS 
and now uh, I'll start recording. Okay, now I started recording and uh, I'll change slides. Animation is happening, everything is happening and my face is also showing in this video. Okay, so let's go back to OBS Studio. Stop recording. And then I will go to videos. It usually saves in the videos folder. Double click it. Okay, now I started recording and uh, I'll change slides. Animation is happening, everything is happening and my face is also showing in this video. Okay, so let's go back to OBS Studio. Stop. So you saw that this works. Okay, so this is very easy. This is how you use OBS Studio to record your uh, um, lectures and then you put them on YouTube or wherever you want. Okay, so in the default settings it is saving in the FLV format. You can change all these settings here in set, settings panel. Um, output, uh, what kind of, where it is saving, you can see here what kind of video format is shown here. Um, audio bitrate, these are all advanced options. But you saw that uh, my video is, is not bad uh, for online lectures is fine. We are not recording a professional movie. So that's, that's okay. But you can change, play around with these things. Um, of course, this is also uh, up to you. But it's very simple to use. And I thought um, I should make a video on this. Thank you very much. And uh, if you have any questions, please do write a comment or email me. If you are one of my colleagues, then of course, you know my email address. Um, I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much.